Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 clash game one between Bright and his Necromantic and Andri and his Imperial Ability. You can see here that the colours are very close together, brown and kind of salmon versus pink. So we are going to, um, and stripey, both of them stripey, we're going to make this red and blue. Um, Bright won his group and I can tell you that he is Russian, qualified through the Ruby BL. Andri is Spanish, qualified through the Season 3 official playoffs and uh, came runner-up in the group of Imperial Ability. There were three Imperial Ability in his group. That's how he's made the playoffs with Imperial Ability. <laughs> Just joking, banter. Um, he's actually gone for a build I would quite like if I was you know, forced at gunpoint to play Imperial Ability. This is what I'd take. Um, six guards, two dodgers and a leader i thought this was quite a reasonable build um i considered it something similar for like you know as my, if i was going to play them at euro bowl um i don't hate it honestly it's it's kind of a fine build they, they can win games it's it's you know, i just joke a little bit about how terrible they are um meanwhile andre's taken a different build to devo the same as diamed um he's gone for the four guards as is standard but he's dropped one of the wolves down to a ghoul so he's only got one wolf and then the, the ghoul that he's turned into is a wrestle ghoul um, and it means he's getting he gets a 13th player now the 13th player can make a difference it's not terrible getting a 13th player but it's not as impactful right and what it means is he's really got to look after his wolf if he loses his wolf it's bad times and you know just positionally as well it's it's better to have two wolves isn't it you know you can threaten serves on both sides so i'm not such a big fan of this build but it's been very effective for Bright and Diamed. So, you know, they're both in the playoffs and Diamed's already through and Bright will be looking to join him very quickly. Instant Kaz. Oh, then Dub Skulls. Okay, so we, we've got the ball already. Like this, 3D, a little bit more safer. <laughs> So what I would have done is move this guy out, right? So you've just got a bit more width if you fail it. Just a that little bit more width if you fail. Oh, he's no, no, you've got to, you've got to uh, pu push the fleshy away, right? Or maybe not if you're coming for the ball. He's just coming for the ball straight in. And you know, knobs actually have like uh, counters to necro a little bit, right? Because they've got the stand firm and the, and the so you can't push them. You know, you can't surf them, and they've got fend as well, so you can't surf them. So they've got they've got some good things versus necro. Both down there is uh, not good for this wolf. This, this guy has to come across like this, doesn't he? No, 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 he can just move forward. Duh. He's kind of relying on nailing this ogre now. Is he? Maybe not. I feel like a skull would have been bad there. But maybe, maybe it would have been not so bad. Hello, Steve. Hello, Pedro. Man, you, it feels like you should be able to exploit the fact that this wolf is down. But he hasn't really got... He's got nobody to foul him and he hasn't got really anything else anywhere. Lucky Darius Obi. I quite like leaving the players on the floor there. You know, there's no point in them just dodging away and falling over, is there? What's tricky as well, you've always got to remember to, uh, you know, make the same kind of formation you'd make because they don't have to use stun fur. Just sticking around on the LOS. He's going to crash into the ogre. Yeah, I quite like this. 
Oh, the bad thing is, by doing that, you just you just instantly getting two D, right? I I think blitzing the wraith was the play here. You blitz the wraith and then pile in. Because the the fleshy just instantly two D's you. Okay, well that makes it a tiny bit harder. I feel like it was much better to risk the uh, risk the foul appearance, but it's it's hard to do. The foul appearance is so good. Oh wow, this wolf has been rubbish. <laughs> He's just <laughs> He's done absolutely nothing. Oh, the the lineman just auto hits anyway. Yeah, it's, it felt so much better blitzing the wraith there. Uh, on a success, but you know it did add a two plus to the sequence. The the the, the success state was better blitzing the wraith, right? Which I, I think you've got to do when you, you've got to realise you're the underdog here, as and in in teams at least. Like everybody can be objective about, about teams, can't they? You know, people could have differing ideas on whether they think. Their opponents a better coach or, or you know whatever, but you've got to look at these teams. But then I guess Andre chose this team. <laughs> Thought it was a good idea. <laughs> so, I mean, I did. It's not. It's not terrible, right? It's not terrible, and he's causing a lot of problems right now for Bright. To be fair, didn't follow. Is that a misclick? Oh, it's so he could he could chain him into there. Oh, okay. 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 The problem is, this just you're just gonna push him away again. Mm. Honestly, I think maybe not blitzing was better there. Like it's easy to say that after it's failed, but one, two, three, four, five, six. You could rush, and then like you've trapped him inside, right? That's pretty good. Is this guy activated yet? I don't think so. No, so this guy could have come around to there. And then, like, just really try and hem him in. Like, yeah, having him in contact with these two was pretty good. I guess he was just... But, like, you know, this guy, like, the, he was in a tricky spot. So... Now he's got a 3 plus away to freedom, hasn't he? And I mean, it is easy to say that after it's failed. But I did think it before, before it failed. Because <laughs> the chain, I like the chain putting on two players, right? Okay, so he doesn't even have to dodge. Yeah, it is. I mean, 2 ding the ball is like the natural thing to do, isn't it? But I feel like... Without Wrestle... And with putting him in such a good spot, like, you don't have to be... You don't have to be impatient, do you? Uh, you can... Yeah. Being nice. He really needs the ogre to blitz the fleshy, doesn't he? Okay, so he gets that. Oh, you go stupid. Oh, he didn't know he didn't blitz though, I guess he was just gonna stand next to the fleshy. Like stand in front of the fleshy, I guess he was gonna just go. Which would have been decent, I guess, at stopping him going forward. But now it's turn six and Bright might get this drive done despite the absolute pickle he was in earlier. Oh god, does he just have to like dodge to here? Oh no, he can blitz. Maybe he goes out in front then. Yeah, this seems okay because you're a bit weak around the front and around the back, right? So going there seems fine. A bit bent out of shape. The, the two stuns in the middle killed them, didn't they? And then they, they like kind of over-pursued the ball. 
Like that was the problem. He was he was ending up with like three players behind the ball going for that sack. Four, five, like five players behind the ball or something. So it was a very risky ball sack. It was almost a space cadet and you know of himself. Oh, makes the dodge. He's got a power list. Yes, he gets the power. That gives him the ogre. Maybe. Yep, he gets the ogre. And then dodge him off. Gotta re-roll that. Did he re-roll it? Oh, he's only got one re-roll left. It's one of those where you probably should re-roll it. It's just hard to do, right? It's hard to do. Um, oh yeah, so a space cadet is very old terminology. Um, <laughs> basically, it's when you like, um, it's when you basically kind of like, you know, sacrifice your conventional defense, like your cover to, uh, and like just your general ball business. Like, you know, people are giving you like a kind of an easy sack, an easy 2D, but it, it takes you out of shape, right? And, uh. Not all. I don't don't know how on purpose it was, but sometimes it led to a space cadet winning winning games. Uh, oh my goodness, he didn't blitz with the. Uh, he doesn't have him. He doesn't have him. Uh, I guess he could have blitz with like the ball carrier, right? Could have blitz with the ball carrier or the uh, wrestle ghoul, but I'm lucky to get a power because a push wasn't good enough. That was. Uh, that was some dice required for Bright there, and a rush. So now, oh, there's a Kaz. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got the he's got the wrestle sack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush. Or he could dodge, right? Because he only got one reroll. He could do a dodge with dodge and stand there, and then dodge double rush hit with wrestle. I think that's got to be the play. Do some safe moves first. Yep. So he does do. I, I like that. I like. I like doing the dodge, even though it's less odds overall. You need your reroll for this. Oh no! He fails the second rush. If he'd say if he'd saved a reroll somehow, or if this leader had been—I mean, he couldn't really afford to field the leader, and he's still taking cows anyway. Gets the wrestle, gets the touchdown. Very, very nearly didn't get that score right. I mean, nearly actually got turned over. Um, very, very close drive, and in the end, he's made two Kaz out of it. And I think that is how many players are in this team? Still got 11. Might still get the win here. Bright, after looking like he could have got the loss, I, I think it was that. I mean, it's, it's easy again. I've said it about five times, but it is easy to say in hindsight, but I I did think at the time, oh, do you know what? I, I actually really liked his stranding him on those two players. The problem is, you know, if he if he had gone round the back and then, you know, Bright had found the answer and got away anyway, he'd feel like an idiot that he didn't go for the sack, didn't he? So it's it's natural to go for the sack. And he might have thought about doing that and decided it wasn't good enough, you know, like I thought that in one of my games, uh I went for the sack and it was, you could say it was the wrong move, but I thought it was a chance of it working. Okay, so no damage there. I mean, <laughs> because it doesn't matter, right, he's got two reserves. So here we go, Andre to, I mean, not really stay alive. But it's kind of staying alive, isn't it? You're staying very alive. With a, with a draw, you don't really lose anything. Um, so you've just got to go for the draw. Right? You can't think about going for the win here. Just 
keep yourself alive. And then in game two, hope you win the toss, remove four players on turn one, and win the game, right? <laughs> That's it, you know? Roll like Dragoo, or... Uh, not Dragoo, sorry. Nabolo versus Dragoo. Or... Um, Yatsik versus... Rock, right? You know, just make like five, six cars. Just win. You know? It doesn't matter... <laughs> doesn't matter about coaching or teams or anything if you make five cars you win <laughs> Ooh, very strong over that side Interesting, interesting, a kind of refused flank here from Bright. Where the Ogre is, and where the Dodger is, not. But, um, he's just going to punch, and make a stun. He didn't stand firm and he followed. Yeah, I like this blitz around here. The problem is, with, with, you know, you can't really go anywhere because you'd be splitting your team, right? So, you've kind of just got to keep the width. The good thing for Andre is he does have the sand firms to, like, hold the flanks. And even the fens in a pinch can. It is quite counter to what Necro do a little bit. Though I guess less so for Bright because he's only got the one wolf. Weak link here, but you know, knobs aren't elves, so it doesn't really matter. going to try and smash the wraith. I think that's completely reasonable. Um, they're only they're only AV9+. Plus. So how you win most games as knobs is blitzing with the ogre and getting lucky. <laughs> as sad as that fact is. Yeah, you can actually put this guy on the sideline, right? Because Fen will stop the uh, wolf. So. so it is pretty nice that he can... You can actually, you know, use the sidelines normally. Yeah, Frenzy's still great. Like, Frenzy's like poor man's tackle and mighty blow, isn't it? You're getting more knockdowns. So you because you're getting more injuries, right? It's like so it's just the same kind of thing. I I quite like friends. It's it's all right. Oh, gets the gets the stun, which is pretty good. So he has left the uh, left side quite open. As bright and Andre's going for it. Big punch on the fleshy now. Does get him. I wouldn't have done that though. <laughs> because this was guaranteed to push him into here now, right? There is. Well, it's it's not it's neither really is it. This is just just a bit of probing, just a bit of probing from Andre. Just 
Just a gentle probe. <laughs> and yeah, everything got a little bit stuck there, didn't they, versus all the stand firm. So he blitzes here to get the wolf across. Finally gets knocked down to get another zombie zombie out. So just about enough reaction there from Bright, I'd say. Ball, ball carrier blitz is completely fine. So is killing somebody. In Blood Bowl. <laughs> Only in Blood Bowl. is a bit exposed here, isn't he? <laughs> only, only in blood. <laughs> well, he can potentially... Well, he can. Bright can potentially free up the Wraith here to get in front, which is quite good. In fact, I'd, pro I'd actually want to blitz with a Wraith. So, I would do these blocks to free him first. And then if I didn't free him, I guess he's going to blitz him if he's not freed. I guess, oh, he's going to blitz this one, right, and then just move him back. But he, he, what he could have done was, he could have just... Oh, maybe he's going to dodge blitz, okay, he's just going to dodge blitz, he really thought it was that important. Fair enough. Maybe it was. Got to do the rush as well. Uh, the icon on the zombie is stab. He got uh, he got the cheering fans stiletto result. I didn't mention it because it was so irrelevant when it happened. <laughs> plus, plus it's uh, you know the replays go so fast. Yeah, the knobs did split themselves off a little bit. It worked for the turn that the that the the initial turn with all of the stand firm holding people up was pretty good. But then now they all been knocked down. And uh, Bright has responded. It's not looking so good for them, is it? But he comes back to the ogre. And this is going to be a huge bodyguard dodge. Makes it. And that just about covers it, doesn't it? Just about. Oh wow, he goes for the uphill, the big boy, the big boy player. That was spicy. It's because he's going to double rush to get in the ball and facilitate the necro, the necro blitz. Oh, the, oh, he just went for this blitz. Wow. Okay, well, honestly, I kind of hate that. Because then the uphill was just looking for a pow, right? Either a both down or a pow to get the 2D. That seems a lot of dice. I would, If I was going to do that, I would have probably moved the wolf in first. Yeah, I would have done the wolf blitz. Like, I thought, oh, this is so that he can get the guard in, so that he's got a guard in front and he gets the wolf blitz on. But the, And then he could have just dodged this at the end, right, to, to sandwich him between sidesteppers. Sandwiching between sidesteppers is fine. I, just a bit weird to do it all that way. I feel like if you want to do the 1D, do the 1D and then push him out in front and then put the sidestep and the wolf in front as well if you want to do the 3 plus to hit the ball. So, interesting. Now, did he even re-roll the... He did re-roll the dodge, yeah. Yeah, so weird. Weird little turn there from uh, Bright, like, especially with him leaving the wolf about here, right? That's the thing. Yes, the wolf was the potential recovery, but... Maybe just stick him on there and, you know, that's good enough, right? Interesting how... Mmm, Samage? You know, like, not terrible or anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying terrible. <laughs> but 
but just it was just a bit weird and I didn't really get it. No, no, this this one blitzed Chrissy B. He could have he could have all blitzed the, the guy in the end. Oh dear. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, BB Jock. I missed that entire turn. <laughs> this, this was a this was a blitz, Christopher B. Right? I'm sure that this this wraith was blitzing here. Number one. Like, did a blitz not flash up? No. Oh, so he's good. He was dodging there to get two guards, and then he was going to blitz the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush, and then he was going to rush and hit him again. Ah, okay. I thought he was blitz. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than blitzing. Okay. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I still don't like hitting the ball, but it makes a lot more sense now. Right, 3D pals in there. Assist there. Move the ball. Oh yeah, and then you push him there or there. Yeah, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, but this gets, this gets him to the end. He couldn't have covered the backside if he didn't do it that way. So... And maybe he could have put it from there, though. Maybe he could have hit from here and pushed him into the ogre, which is a lot better. Oh, well, he's just 4-3. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Right, I mean, it's turn 15. Like, it is all he could do, but, like, holy moly... Holy moly. That was just like all the dice. Interesting. That was interesting, wasn't it? The bright ball sack attempt. If it had worked, everybody had said it was great. <laughs> it seemed really risky, but, you know, maybe it had to be risky. That's the thing, isn't it? You've got to make that call of... It was hard to do all the dice to get it, but like if you get it, it's, it's you know maybe it's the only way you stop the score. Good turn here from Bright, by the way, to make this difficult. Really good turn. Tried to roll all the dice, nearly got all of them, um, and now not easy for Andre at all from looking super easy. It's the power there. Okay, so getting the power makes it a lot easier. Now it's just dodge pick up, isn't it? It's got dodge. It's got a reroll. Nope. <laughs> did he know it was turn 16? I think he did. Well, there you go. Andre managed to get a draw out of this game. In the end, he just about managed it, and it was weird, right? Because he had like a pretty strong drive at one point, and uh, Bright was in loads of trouble on his drive. So this was a surprisingly close match, I'd say, between one of the best races in the tournament, one of the worst races. Oh my god, it's not over. Don't say it's over. Bright has a two-turn, and he did set up a little bit for this. Oh, he didn't stand firm? I mean, he, he did stand firm. I would have not stand firm so the wolf was based. Ah, uh, but then I guess you stop him getting forward, which is okay. Interesting. I would have left the wolf based. I think. Who knows? It's easy to say things, isn't it? You don't know. Plus, like, um... As I say, every time, all very stressful games.
This isn't super obvious what to do here, is it? Like, hoping the dice fail is probably a best shot for Andrew. Oh, nails the, nails the more scary scoring threat. That makes sense. We didn't want that Wraith getting the ball. <laughs> Banter. That was quite a good defence, actually, wasn't it? He's, he's rolled all of the dice. Four plus dodges here. That's pretty good. So yeah, hand off to the ghoul and he won the blitzes through. No re-rolls though. Oh, and he fails the rush. Well, there you go. A draw seems a bit fair out of that, I guess. Honestly, like, it was a great defence by Bright after the after the failed 1-9 in nine dodge. And honestly, may maybe that was a great play. I, I don't know, like, it seemed... It seemed like the failure state of that play was too bad, but the point is, if you need the success state of that play, maybe it's the right play. So that's, I think that's a tough one to judge. Interesting, interesting that he went for it, um, but you know he nearly stopped the score. But then also Andre nearly stopped, not only stopped the score, nearly was quite actually quite close to turning right over on his on Bright's offense. So very interesting game, well played by both. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.